Got some pretty bombshell news yesterday. Congressman Louis Gohmert, Republican of Texas, Texas has tested positive for coronavirus. Now, obviously, that would be big news and troubling news in any instance, but it is especially troubling because he is one of the individuals who has adamantly refused to wear a mask while on Capitol Hill, potentially spreading the virus around to other individuals. Um, a, you know, horrible state of affairs, putting at risk not only his colleagues, yeah. but the workers in the House, his, his staff. own staff and office workers. And uh, Politico's Jake Sherman has been all over this story in particular. If, he can, if we can put his other tweet up here where he says that he got an email from their staff saying, hey, Jake, Thank you for letting our office know Louis tested positive for the coronavirus. When you write your story, can you include the fact that Louis requires full staff to be in the office, including three interns, so that we could be an example to America on how to open up safely? When probing the office, you might want to ask how often people were berated for wearing masks. We also heard Saga reported yesterday that he actually went Back in to his office person to tell him in per to, to tell, tell them. them that he tested positive. I, okay, if if nobody's ever been in a, in a House congressional office, they're, they're tiny, not big, they're really small, they're like closets, and you know people are piled on top of each other. If it's three interns, they're all like probably congregating right there, and the, oh, I, it's, I, it's a nightmare. And it's, it's funny because Sherman actually said, "Oh, actually, there's a lot of offices on the Hill where they say encourage not to use masks, or they're all crowding, or you know." And Nancy Pelosi uh, mandated that all staff must wear masks, but I don't know why that didn't happen. Yeah. How, or, by the all, way, why, is it, why does it is, take July 30th? Why, why does it take a like, member of Congress, you know, potentially being a super yeah. spreader before you put in place that policy? But I'm glad it's to see it's there so, now. It's so insane, this entire thing. And what really galled me was after he tested positive, you showed me this, this clip of him on CNN where he said the reason he got corona was because he was wearing a mask from time to time. Let's take a listen. I can't help but think that if I haven't been wearing a mask so much in the last 10 days or so, uh, I really wonder if I would have gotten it. But I know, you know, moving the mask around, getting just right, I'm bound to put some, some uh, virus on the mask that I sucked in. That's most likely what happened. <laughs> that is unbelievable. This guy's Saving, insane. Touching his face is the reason. It's just, uh, that is why, like why? Why are you endangering yourself? He's old. He's also not young. I don't know how old he is. Probably like 60 something. But like, you know, you, this is a real danger, not just to you, but, you know, to your loved ones, his wife, um, and so many people, elderly constituents who might be looking for him. You know, I actually saw something interesting, which is that mask usage amongst Republicans was in the mid 70s. And then after Trump came out and said, wear a mask, now it's in the high 80s. That's what real leadership, leadership can do in this country. Can make it can make a difference. And look, this guy has a big platform. He's out there all the time. Yeah, spouting, he's on Fox a lot. On Fox all the time, spouting this absolutely ridiculous science-free nonsense. I mean, we were really, we called out aggressively the fact that, that Fauci and the surgeon in general and other lied public health that. officials yeah. lied about masks. And now to still, now that we all know that yes, in fact, they do make a difference. And no, it's not like going to perfectly 100% of the time always right. prevent the spread of the virus. But this is not just about protecting you. It's really about being respectful of the people around you. Like you may feel like, oh, I'm a young person, I'm healthy, whatever. But you don't know who you're coming in contact with, who's going to be getting on the elevator after you were in there. This is about protecting all of us. And to see a member of Congress, like, of course, like, let's be clear, we all hope that Louis Garment is fine and that he recovers and he doesn't have any issues here. But the fact that he put so many people at risk and is just completely unrepentant about it, completely science free, completely fact free, still out there spreading this like ridiculous nonsense is absolutely unconscionable. No words for this one. All right, tomorrow on Rising, first of all, it's going to be Friday, and then David Sirota is going to join us as well as our super panel. That's Jennifer Holdsworth and Philip Wegman. And please make sure you like and share this video. It really does help others to find us. Of course, also subscribe so you never miss a video. Appreciate y'all. Have a good day. See you guys.